First at five, that family stabbed in their Sterling Heights home, and police say it was a young man who killed his own grandfather and uncle and left his grandmother fighting for her life. The attack happening in the 39,000 block of Leah Court, that's near Dodge Park and 17 Mile. And that's where we find 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell. Kim, you've been out there all day working it. Any word on a motive yet? Everyone wants to know why this young man would do what he is accused of doing in this home early this morning in Sterling Heights. Police say he confessed to committing the crime, stabbing three of his relatives, killing two of them, but he couldn't explain why. Neighbors say this is 71 year old Sandra Pastazak and this is 79 year old Jerome Pastazak. Neighbors describe them as ideal grandparents, always proud, always involved and always having the kids over to visit. They were wonderful grandparents. Very rare do you see grandparents that do this constantly. Oh, we had them all in the swing all the time. He had a swimming pool in the backyard. He, did, he adored, he, all he talked about all the time was his grandchildren. So news that their 20-year-old grandson is accused of attacking them, killing his grandfather and uncle, 44-year-old Mark Pastazak in this house, and leaving his grandmother fighting for her life, is unthinkable. They've always been wonderful people. I hope to God that she's okay. I hope she makes it. Police say the 20 year old man who was their suspect moved into his grandparents' house on Leah Court just weeks ago. He's from North Carolina, but his family hoped he'd find work here. And this video, posted on what neighbors say is his Facebook page, appears to show him mock his grandpa, the man who was helping him, for not recognizing the smell of marijuana. You smell a skunk? Yeah, you didn't smell it? No. He allegedly went in his grandparents' bedroom early this morning. The grandmother was sleeping and she was assaulted by the grandson, uh, woken up from that. The grandfather uh, was also awoken and tried to intervene. That fight kind of took him into the kitchen where a kitchen knife got involved. Police described the scene as horrific. The young man allegedly stabbed grandma, grandpa and the uncle multiple times until his grandma finally managed to lock herself in a room and call 911. That young man is expected to be arraigned tomorrow morning. In the meantime, this couple, this grandma and grandpa, very active members of St. Ephraim Church in Sterling Heights, there will be a prayer service for them tomorrow night at 7 with a rosary saying, you're all invited. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right, Kim, so horrific, and certainly our thoughts and prayers go out to that family tonight. Thank you much. Glenda?